What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison Payne. I'm a full-time blogger and Instagrammer, and now I'm trying to figure out this YouTube world. So I'm back with another beauty video. I did this gold, shimmery, magical look with a heavy red lip. I think it's perfect for this time of the year. It was super simple to do, too. So if you guys want to know how I did it, keep watching. All right, y'all, I'm starting with my foundation and contour already done. I did a YouTube video showing you guys how I get to this look because I do it pretty much the same way every day, and I did it exactly like it is in that video. So go check that out. I will link it below. I don't use my hands a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Honey Palette. This is actually my everyday palette. Let me make it go the right way. This is actually my everyday palette. I'm just going to do it a lot darker today, and mine's really dirty because it's well-loved, but I think these colors are so pretty and so I'm gonna be doing a gold glammy look and then we're gonna make a shimmery and then we're gonna make it glittery and all the things so unpopular opinion I actually really love the brush that this palette comes with so this is what I use and I'm gonna go in with the color drip into my crease I have a mirror to the side of me as well so if you guys see me looking over there that's what I'm doing And I like to kind of go up into my eyebrows on the ends because my eyes are so far set that for me it brings them in. But you don't have to do that. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Sting and that's going to be the chocolate brown color on the palette. And I'm just using kind of a flat brush and I'm just going to get in to my corners. I don't find that this palette has a ton of fallout, um, but if I was using a palette that did, I would, even though I have my foundation and all of that already on, I would go in and add a layer of powder underneath just so you can flick it away if there is any fallout. Okay, so now that I've put Sting in the corners and I kind of blended it further into the middle of my lid, I'm going to add Sting on the bottom, on my lower lash line. If you guys aren't using this particular palette, you can just use a chocolate brown color. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the color Golden, and it's just a heavy gold shimmer, so any kind of gold shimmer eyeshadow you can use and I'm just going to do it on the inside corners. So now I'm going to take another flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with the color Honey. It's another gold shimmery color so if you're not using this palette you can use just a different gold shimmer or if you only have one gold shimmery eyeshadow just do it on the inside corners as well as the front part of your lid because that's where this one's going to go but I'm going to cover it with glitter anyway. Okay, so now that I've added that, I'm going to go back in with the Urban Decay brush in the color Drip, which is just a light brown, and I'm just going to clean up my edge of where the glitter was. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the eyeshadow for right now. I like the darkness of it. Once I add the glitter, I might darken it up a bit. So I'm going to finish out the rest of my face, and I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Highlight Palette, if I can get it open. I really like these. They're super pigmented, so just know that before you dip your finger in it. That's why mine has a little bit on the bottoms, because I was like, oop, too much. So I like to just apply highlighter with my finger because it heats it up. Um, if I'm not using that, then sometimes I'll use a fan brush, but for right now I'm just going to do it like that with my finger. And I like to apply it on the top of my cheek, where that little cheekbone is, and just kind of... Blend it in. I'm gonna look to the side though, so I don't have no, so it's not too chunky. I'm going for kind of a dramatic glam, so I'm gonna do a little darker than maybe I normally would. You know, full on glazed donut. And I like to just bring it down the bridge of my nose. I mean, that is like instant nose drop. It looks so much better. Okay, so I like to go kind of heavy on the highlighter around my lip to accentuate my cupid's bow. And by the time you put color on it, it kind of fades away anyway. By the way, this highlighter palette is their Sunkiss Shimmer. And I used the gold color in the middle. 
So next I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty blush and this is in the color Warm Hibiscus. This is so pretty with red lips. I've used this before. Go just with a red lip. So now I'm going to put it on with Flower Beauty's powder, not powder, blah, 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 blah. say that three times fast. Now I'm going to put it on with Flower Beauty's blush brush. And I'm just going to go make a little C here. And we'll do that on the other side. I do like to bring my blush up to my forehead because I think it makes me look like I have a little more color. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I typically do my eyebrows after my eyeshadow just because in case color gets up in there, um, I don't want to have to redo my brows. I use all different sorts of things for my eyebrows, but I want something that really looks like it has a lot of shape today because I am going for a more glam look. So I'm using the Cabrow from Benefit and it is in the color 3.5. This I think is a little trial size. I think I got this in a beauty box, but I don't really remember. So I think the other ones are bigger, but I do like this because it comes with a little slant brush. So you have everything you need right here. I like the Anastasia one as well for another brow um, pomade. So it's another good option, but I really like this one. So I do have my eyebrows microbladed. It's been like a year and a half though. So the microblading is starting to come off. So I still just kind of trace in like where the original microblading was because I can tell I just have little gaps here and there. So I just go in and lightly color it in. And I know I said I have my eyebrows microbladed, but I do have bushy eyebrows on my own as well. So I got the microblading just to kind of even them out. But since they are bushy, I do like to go in with something that will make the eyebrows stay down. Sometimes I just use, what is that, aquifer? Because I'm busy using on my lips anyways. So I'll just put a layer, a thin layer of aquifer on them. Um, or I'll use the Hourglass Arch Brow Shaping Gel. It's just a clear gel just to make sure that all of my my wild hair stay in place. I also really like Hourglass's Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. This actually puts fibers and builds up your lashes. Um, if I'm not doing as heavy of a look, I'll just run this over my eyebrows because it's super fast and it looks really natural. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna do my eyeliner and mascara so I can put on my lashes because I wanna do my glitter once the lashes are already on, because sometimes I feel like when you're putting on fake lashes, you can take off some of the eyeshadow. So I normally expect to have to redo some eyeshadow after I put the falsies on. So for my eyeliner, I like to use the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Um, the Kat Von D eye pen is also really fantastic. And then I really like the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is probably my favorite mascara that I've run across, so this is a good one. Okay, so that is my eyes with just the mascara and eyeliner. I'm going to wait for that to dry for a second. And then I'm going to put on my Kiss Lashes in the style 72584. Okay, so I always use the Duo Eye Glue. This is the best glue ever. I do the clear one, and I know a lot of girls use the dark one. I just don't feel like... I feel like I'm pretty good at doing false eyelashes, but if you mess up with the dark, you've like really messed up. Whereas the clear one, if I didn't land it right on my eye, it'll just dry clear. Y'all, that makes such a big difference. False eyelashes are everything. I'm unsure how good my application is because my mirror is kind of far away. Pro tip on the eyelashes, you want to get like up on that mirror so you can really see it, so... They might be questionable today, but we'll take it. Okay, so while the glue is drying on that, before I go in and mess with the eyeshadow look some more, we can go ahead and do the lip. I normally do the lip last, but 
this is a glittery eyeshadow look. Also doing the glitter layer after my falsies because sometimes the glitter, then it makes it harder to stick the eyelashes on. So I just personally feel like it works out better that way. Typically, I put my eyelashes on when I'm done with the eyelash look because you don't want pigment falling in the lashes, especially if you're going to reuse your lashes. However, I'm using a liquid glitter, so I'm not that worried about it. So now I'm going to go into my red color. I was going to risk it and test out a new red, but I really like this Rimmel Dat Red. So I'm going to use that one. So it's the Rimmel Dat Red. <laughs> I'm repeating myself. And I'm going to use their lip liner in the color Red Dynamite. I have tried these red colors before and I really like them. I also don't think that Rimmel claims to be long wear for this and when I wore this the other day it stayed on for me drinking like two cups of coffee, a thing of aminos, I, y'all know I love to crack out on caffeine, and this stuff was still on. I had to remove this with makeup remover so I wouldn't say it's as long wear as a stain but it stayed on for a very long time for such a creamy lipstick. So that's the color. I'll show it to you on the, on the wide of my sweater. I'll be able to see it a little better. There, is that in the frame? So that's what the lipstick looks like. Okay, so now I'm ready to go in and finish out the eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal. This is pretty thin. I think this is more supposed to be used as an eyeliner because it's pretty small. Um, but I'm just going to go up in there and all of the places on the top of my lid, I probably won't put it on the bottom of my lid. Not the bottom of my lid. I probably won't put it on the inside corner here. But all the places that I put the gold on the top of my lid, going over it with, with <laughs> the Urban Decay Heavy Metal. And because it is such a small brush, you do have to kind of keep, if you're going to do this large of a space like your, like most of your lid, you do have to keep going back and refilling. You know, I said I wasn't going to do it on the bottom, but I think I am. Mm, I don't know. Decisions. Let's just do it. Ah, oh, y'all, I'm in love with this. Can I wear my makeup like this every day? You think it's too much? I don't think so. All right, you guys, and that's it. This is a super easy glam look. Whether you guys have some holiday parties to go to, or you're just you know going out with your girlfriends, I love the way that this turned out. I actually haven't worn my makeup like this glam in a really long time and I think this might need to be my new everyday look. <laughs> so until my next video, you guys can catch me on my blog at Mads Pain or my Instagram of the same name at Mads Pain and that's M-A-D-Z-P-A-Y-N-E <laughs> and I upload Insta stories all the time, photos all the time, I'm very active on there. So let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or what looks you guys want to see next because I love how this turned out. So, until next time, bye!